All right, let's get started with our quick introduction to Snap and Read. First, we need to click the icon to open up it. This first feature is just simply having their text read to us. Governor Rick Snyder of Michigan issued a sweeping apology on Tuesday to the resident. We can click on the text again to stop the reading. Now to level the text to make it more readable, um, if it's a complicated or difficult text for students, we click on the arrow tool. And then as you saw, I just clicked on the text. Here's a little comparing of before and after. Again, we click on that arrow to switch back to the original. Now we're going to go on to translate. Right click on the snap and read icon, select options. Down here, you just select the language you want to translate into. I think I choose Spanish. And now we have a little translate icon. I select that. And I'm going to highlight the text I would like to be translated. Students could just select one word if they're struggling with it, or more. Selecting that translate icon again turns it off. Moving on to annotation, click that bottom arrow. We need to start a new note. I go ahead and make a creative name here and uh, use the highlighter. and select portions of the text that I would like and uh, included in my outline. As I select, they will just appear. Uh -huh. In my outline, and there's little an annotations underneath. You can adjust your, your chunks of outline, indenting, deleting portions, organizing it how you would like, or even adding text. It automatically sources all of this, which is very handy. And that's the basic features. Snap and Read really is a powerful tool.